Hi there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matt Tomato. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to our SimCity 4 archipelago construction here. This is episode 17? I think? Oh dear. Uh, let me check. This should be. Um, yes, episode 17. Good. Okay, fantastic. Right. So, uh, in the last episode we started up Physics Brie. Uh, which is essentially an expansion of this town here that we're building uh, that expands to the south and to the uh, to the east here. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of demand for industry, so I'm actually going to hop out of uh, Physics Brie and I'm going to head over to the... Um, where is it? Exit without saving. Uh, I'm going to head over to the Eastern Industrial Estate here and uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in some of this industry that we've got over here uh, in this zone. So is, uh, is this place making money? Yeah, it is. I couldn't remember if it was, but uh, yes, it is. Excellent. So I'm uh, going to continue to build up some industries here then. Uh, yeah, see, I don't really want to... I don't want any of these roads to cross each other. That's the only thing I'm thinking here. So, yeah, that over there is mildly annoying. So I'm going to have to do that. But yeah, I don't want any of these roads to cross the... Um, Cross the railway track. I want to leave that alone. So uh, let's accelerate time. Local road reaches chaos. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Continuous demand. So I'm just going to continue to allow this to grow here. Pollution here is awful, <laughs> to say the very least. Um, okay. So uh, the big question really is: uh, we could service this area with water and uh, turn it into. Um, like increase the the likelihood of manufacturing industries spawning here, but to be honest, I think this is perfectly okay. Um, yeah, okay, plenty of uses there. Obviously, nobody using the ferry, but that's because we've uh, got pretty good road connections to this area. To be quite honest, okay, excellent. So um, I say that there is a boat that's just turning up there, uh, so people are probably using the ferry. Um, excellent. So let's put in the, the boundaries and the city names again here. So that is now filled in, which looks a lot better. It looks like one big industrial estate. So if we do take the boundaries away, yeah, it looks a lot better, actually. It's one giant. It's a long industrial estate. There's plenty of farms around it. And also there's obviously the uh, obviously the garbage and things like that. We do need to build a ferry over here. Uh, that's true. Uh, we've got some main roads and things like that looping around here. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, excellent. So, uh, if we go back to the satellite view then, let's go back into physics brie, because now we've sort of provided a few more jobs in the area. So that's that's good and dandy. And um, we'll continue the expansion here of uh, physics brie. So, um, I'm thinking about running a street straight across the back there, connecting that up. That's okay, I'm happy for that to happen. And then try and level this up, essentially. So, actually, I'm fine with that. Seems a bit odd, but I am indeed fine with that. So, people, uh, the advantage to connecting the road here as well is because I got the bus stop on the corner there. Actually, is that bus stop orientated the correct way? I don't think it is. Uh... No, it wasn't. It wasn't orientated the correct way. Okay, so I want that bus stop to be on the main road there, so then people in this area can just sort of get to that area. Um, then people over here can just walk across over there and get to that as well, uh, which is good. Jolly good. Right. Um, uh, so I have to have a road that comes across there. I don't really want to connect that up there, though, in all honesty. So just do that. One, two... Yeah, probably better to do two by two properties there. Um, so again, don't want to connect that up. Excellent. Okay, that will work fine. Uh, so I can now fill this in. Seriously? Bloody pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, again, look, it's just... Oh. Okay, that's fine actually. I don't mind that. There we go. There, good. Right, uh, let's get the the ship. So the car and passenger terminal. Oh my god, you kidding me? Okay, no, it does fit there. Uh, decent. There we go. So that connects in there now. Good. So we can use the boat to get out of here. Um, 
may have been worth making that into a road to be fair because uh, if it does turn into something busy then yeah let's connect that make that into a road uh, that would be a lot better I think because then it can handle traffic okay good there's also uh, a severe lack of parks in this area so I'll start with the community garden in there and then uh, I'll try and organize some parks in this particular zone actually that looks uh, yeah let's uh, I tell you what let's get four tennis courts in there nice big sports complex in that area there there is a boat coming uh, that's good cool and then continue to expand on the residential here how's the commercial demand not too bad um, I suppose we could maybe put in a little bit more here let's put in a bit more commercial uh, I suppose we should probably get some commercial over here as well um, so what I think we'll do is we'll create something there so we can build some commercial in there no there we go excellent uh, so I could do the same as what I've done up there and I think I will two by two yeah that's okay two by two will be all right good okay so now that I put those tennis courts in the land value over here has gone up so yeah there's a hell of a lot of high uh, high wealth places now which is great uh, that is seeing some use 24 people uh, great stuff I suppose a bus stop on the corner there is probably a good idea uh, allows people to get there a little bit quicker good 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 okay so um, I suppose maybe we depending on the finances yeah, the finances are quite good. So let's go ahead and chuck in a school. Uh, so... Yes, that'll do. So we'll put a school in over there. Uh, I might just increase the bus funding a little bit, just because um, it wasn't quite catching everything there. Uh, we'll go up to 150 probably going to be okay okay I will future proof and go up to 200 ish uh, so yeah we'll future proof there excellent stuff a uh, bit more usage now I think now that I've built the bus stop over there yeah more people can access that um, that area so that's good news okay uh, continue zoning residential then I suppose um, fill these in Whoops. Can I do this in one go? No, it won't let me. Okay. There we go. Super deeper. Right. So, accelerate time. Allow all of those to build. Uh, actually, a little bit of a slow demand for residential there. I think it's because the medium wealth has not got a lot of desirability at the moment. The high wealth does, but uh, the medium wealth doesn't. Actually, uh, some people whinging about jobs here. So it might well be that we can get some more commercial in here then. Um, we'll also build... Uh, where is it? Medium plaza. Let's build two medium plazas at the back there. That will help the commercial and uh, might provide some higher um, high wealth office jobs that would be helpful. Industry needs room to expand, okie doke, of course. And we never actually built um, Mayor's house here, did we? Uh, so we should probably do that. i tell you what, we're going to go live on the, the hilltop over here. We'll live on the waterfront. Let's do that. That seems nice. Also increases the land value a tiny, tiny bit in that area. Uh, okay, we can build the church. Um, let's put that in there. That'll be great. I suppose we should probably leave room for the grave. Maybe in there. Could be okay, not sure. It looks a bit too big, doesn't it? That's the only problem. Mm, probably put it in here somewhere. I can't remember how big it is. Uh, I think it's that big. Can't remember though. That's the only problem. Um. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we'll keep that road going. Um, not the 
most ideal situation, uh, but I will do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put in another bus stop on that corner. Um, I suppose maybe a bus stop to access this area is probably quite a good idea as well. Uh, so yeah, let's shove in a bus stop on that corner as well. Good. And then... That's what we wanted to build. Yes. Okay. Larger, larger plots now for the residential as well, which is good. Um, there we go. Fill that in. Super duper stuff. Um, some sort of medium flower garden. Ah, see, we've already got the tennis courts there. Uh, some sort of medium flower garden in there. Actually, that seems good. Okay. And now that we've got some more money again, uh, let's go with the police force. I'll put in a police station there. Covers all of this. Uh, big school. Not that we need it at the moment. Grave needed. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and put that there. Excellent. If it's perfectly in that space, I got it correct. Couldn't remember how big it was. Good. Okay. So uh, need a little bit more higher wealth stuff over here, to be fair. Uh, so it may well be worth uh, softball field one of those in there and then get a bit more commercial going in that gap there we go some more proper houses good okay I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're even going to drop the tax even further there we go pretty good and we'll raise the tax for low to 9.5 there's only 23 simoleons coming in for commercial there's not a lot of commercial kicking around but most of it is either medium or high wealth uh, which is pretty good so yeah drop the tax a little bit more there we go a big pile of new bigger houses have just popped in there excellent no water no way really uh, I thought we had a bit more capacity than that but uh, Obviously, oh yeah, we're starting to struggle. Uh, so let's go ahead and build. Seems a bit odd building a water tower there, doesn't it? Um, like building a water tower next to um, next to the actual water. Yeah, yeah, we were. We were at capacity. Wowzer. Gee whiz. Okay, so that will allow some more development to grow. Pop in a quick save. And yeah, I think we could probably just fill this in. Um, I still think... Good money, actually. Um, let's put in put in the hospital. Okay, so we'll drop to 110. And I think 750 will be okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and, I mean, I think we've already got plentiful bus stops in the area, but I think it would make sense to maybe build one somewhere in the middle there so that the uh, there's access to all of these services, in particular the school as well. I suppose maybe we should have built it there instead. May have been better, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. Um, let's put in a medium plaza over there as well. Outside. I suppose actually that would have been better to be a playground. I mean, it is next to a school, so suppose that would probably make more sense let's build a playground instead um, that's going to make a little bit more sense I think good okay so uh, I guess we could just fill this in the uh, the residential demand uh, although it's actually only low wealth that's currently in demand uh, but nonetheless it is a demand um, I think I've done goofed here as well we needed more Two, one, two, road. Yeah, do that then. Uh, not brilliant. But oh well. Uh, woo! Flatten the whole land. There we go. Um, large flower garden on the corner. Excellent. Uh, and then, of course, I suppose we could just fill that whole thing in there because it makes sense because we've got development on all sides here there we 
we go. Two by two is okay. That'll do. Brilliant, just fill it in. Uh, ABCs will put Sims on solid ground. Yeah, well. Do I not have a school? Does it not have good capacity? Well, actually, I suppose the warning was probably because maybe we were hitting the capacity there. Uh, okay, the favourite mayor. Uh, high capacity school. Where are we going to put the mayor statue? Uh, maybe next to our house. How about that? <laughs> That's like, you love me sort of material, that is. Okay, super. So we actually did encourage some uh, higher wealth properties without really trying. We built lots of parks and built lots of services and uh, manipulated the taxes, but we didn't. We haven't tried as such too hard. Okay, six thousand people living there. Okay, goody goody good. So, what are the remaining stages uh, for this island? So, if we show boundaries. So we just have to have this cut across here a little bit and then into here. So it's just these two, I think. I'm just going to join them up and uh, then that will be the first islands, I think. So how are we going to go to so the transportation map? Yeah. So there's one or two roads that just connect in over here. So it doesn't have to be very big. Um, uh, I think we'll call it... Okay, so let's do this one. Okay. Uh, so we can just sort of. Uh, I tell you, what, we could could maybe do like some sort of weird structure there, but it doesn't have to be that much. So something a little bit like that, I suppose. Um, go for the planes tool. That seems okay, yeah, and just sort of fill that in like that. Yeah? Okay, we'll double check the... Um, double check the expanse to see... Yes, it's actually... I've actually sent it up too high, so this is perfect. So this bit here is, is perfect, uh, but I think I'll reduce the size of this a little bit here. Probably just bring it up to there. Although actually having that little um, something like that, yeah, that, that little sort of ridge on the end there seems kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. So something like that. That seems fairly okay. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, just like a little um, a little island, a little mini island off the coast there. Yeah, that seems quite okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, so there's a point there. Yeah, excellent. So, uh, most of this is going to be ag, again, just because it fills up the area. Um, so this will be uh, Oak Island, because of the trees, obviously. Good. Um, we'll probably have some sort of road that just runs along here like this. Industry needs room to expand. Yeah, well, um, some sort of road that just runs along the coast here. Essentially, um, we could do like a mini dual carriageway for overtaking. Send that off over there. Yeah, so like a little mini dual carriageway sort of thing, uh, and then this one here. Um, like the the reason we've done the dual carriageway is because we're going to connect it up like that. So it's like a an interesting junction that you can do. Yeah, that seems okay. Excellent. Okay, uh, and then we'll just zone um, ag in between this zone. Uh, so we're not going to build any bridges or anything like that uh, over to the island. We'll leave that as trees. Uh, after all, it is called Oak Island. We'll just build three wind turbines on the end there. And uh, we'll pop in a giant pile of ag. Uh, interestingly, all the demand was fucked up there. I don't know why. Um, but uh, there we go. So, uh, right. Uh, God, this is like frustration level. Oh, 
roads because building diagonal roads is just the worst like it's, it's a bad idea in theory but uh okay uh we need to build a few streets here i think um so let's do something like that just to allow different farms to be built here just the one actually the one street is probably sufficient uh right so here oh god this is so frustrating yeah and there we go so the, the, the always the risk is to accidentally tile over the other side of the road you can go so far go uh, like that and actually this one's quite easy because it's just a block there we go sweet there we go um we will also build um the ferry uh whoa wrong one car and passenger ferry terminal uh anywhere at all in here would be great uh there was a spot uh yes we'll build the boat in there just to be able to continue the uh theme of being able to go around the entire island. Uh, we could maybe build like a little boat thing over here, but it's just an island. Um, it's an uninhabited island as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I guess we will probably have to jump the power to here. I think that's probably going to be a little bit too far, so let's go ahead and get these built. Wonderful. Uh, so, save and exit. Oak Island, and the, the word is perfectly over the island as well, look at that, that's great. Uh, so we can do that, and then we just need to finish it off, so, um, yeah, we just need to finish this off, essentially, so reconcile, there we go, perfect. Um, a little bit bumpy in here, maybe? Uh, I don't know, uh, let's... Save and exit and find out. Looks pretty good to me, actually. Let me just do the... Oh. Top bit looks fine. I think maybe just a tiny little bit further out on this bit here. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Like, barely. There, almost. Like, literally, three, three clicks of the mouse. Yeah, there we go, much better. Okay, so we've got Farmer's Bay... Uh, Oak Island, um, okay, so, yeah, the road just comes in here like that, we'll build, like, a, a farm in here, like, maybe one big farm, uh, not entirely sure, so let's call this one, uh, Crash Physics Fields, or Field, <laughs> uh, for Crash Physics. So yeah, there's a lot of places on this island that are named after um, crash physics. Excellent. Uh, and then we'll do some wonky thing here with the road. So rather than just doing it straight, let's go like all the way up here. Some random ass crap there. There we go, because it's a rural road at the end of the day for, for literally no reason. Um, and I'll just build a block does that, although it will actually be two fields because obviously there's going to be something different growing in there. Um, rather like that. There we go, and we need a wind turbine in there, and we also need to build a road that goes out to the ferry terminal, so loop that in here like that, you can go all the way along there, and let's build a ferry terminal somewhere over this way. I might have to build it a little bit further out then. Ah, oh, no. Really? Oh, bollocks. Oh, no. I was hoping this was going to be simple. It's too steep because I didn't flatten it out. Ah, there we go. Job done. <laughs> Minor panic there. Uh, right. There we go. Excellent stuff. Uh, that's probably going to need power. As expected. I like that you can... You can't actually build diagonal... Oh, you can. Oh, right. I was confused as to why it wouldn't do that. But maybe because it, it needed to uh, mess up a little bit of the land there. 
in order to do uh, to do that, and so it wouldn't allow me to do it. I imagine that's probably what uh, what was going on there. And I think we finished this first island. We have. We finished the first island. Oh my god! So the population. Uh, let's write it down. Uh, the population is thirty six thousand and sixty people. Uh, so the first island. Um, so island one. Thirty six thousand and sixty. Cool. Okay. So um, what do we do from here? Well, I'll kind of, as I said before, I want to build some islands with different character. I want to build some different islands. Uh, there's been some requests, uh, some very interesting requests for things like mountainous uh, regions and stuff like that. So, um, but looking at this island, then let's get rid of all the um, the boundaries and everything. So. The general transportation is pretty rural. Um, there's, of course, the big major road that runs between the Eastern Industrial Estate and Angleton down here, uh, or Angel Land. What did I call it again? Angleton. It was Angleton, yes. Uh, so there's the big major road there, and then, of course, you then got the little sort of part ring road that runs around uh, what is generally Physicton, but we've also got, obviously, the Todorov Beach over here and then the uh, Samson Esplanade. But in general, this whole area, this uh, big town to the north is called Physicton. And uh, so basically that's the major town. And then we've got this big town down here as well. So two big towns on the island. The rest of it is mostly just farms. There's a few sort of isolated spots here. And then the big industrial estate on the uh, the right-hand side. So um, we finished this island. So we obviously want to work on another island here. So I want to create something that's a little bit more mountainous for the next, uh, the next island. So I want to go with some big mountains and things like that. And the reason for that is because there's actually been two or three request cities that sort of match that sort of terrain and the things that they, those people have asked for are all related to mountainous terrain. So I want to get those request cities going. But that's it for now, so cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matthew Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for the continued construction of our archipelago here in SimCity 4.